Hey Reject Nation, I'm Greg Alba. John! We are going to watch today another patron video request, one of our reward tiers as we mentioned before. Whatever video request we must definitely cover on the YouTubes. Yes, it's another reaction today. And this one comes from Tyler Haig, who we're going to be doing a Google Hangout with again very soon. And dude, we've already given you a shout out earlier, we're going to cover this video. So. We have to give a shout out to someone else. Sorry if that upsets you, Tyler. We'll apologize on the hangout. Learn but to share. I thought it would be perfect to shout out a man named John Minnie. This guy lives in New York, been married for not that long of a time, but I think he's perfect to shout out because if there's one guy on Patreon who could possibly be a meth dealer, it's definitely John Minnie. That's where he gets the money to support us. I think he, he's on meth when we talk with him. Probably. I mean, he's got that kind of, you know, jittery vibe. Yeah, it's a great look. Yeah, 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 yeah. But hey, man, whatever you got to do to take care of your new marriage, your family you have going on. Yeah, man. That's why we like Walter White, and that's why we also like John Minnie, who doesn't watch television, so he's probably not even watching this video. We could say whatever we want, but we won't. Bitch! One, two, three. What's up, guys? It's Aaron Paul, and I want you to come break bad with me. Yeah, bitch. Uh -huh. You heard that right. <laughs> it's been 10 years since Breaking Bad premiered, and to celebrate, <laughs> I'm teaming up with Omaze to fly one winner and a friend out to cook in the RV right here in the Sony lot in Los Angeles. We're I don't know. to cook some meth or breakfast. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, probably breakfast. And now, to show you what that might be like, I thought I would give you a quick tour of our past and future kitchen. Let's do it. He hasn't aged at all the past few years. No. Oh, wow. All that Hulu money. It's just like I remember. No tours, private residence. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Aaron! You scared oh the shit God. out of me. Look at you, I'm so good to see you. You look great. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm researching a role uh, here for a, you know, a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, you're so funny. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so what? What's um? What's with this? What's going on? I'm giving away a chance to cook in the RV with me. Wait, wait a minute. Breaking Bad is gonna be rebooted? Oh, <laughs> thank God, oh, yes! It'll be just like Roseanne, without the racism. <laughs> <laughs> Rebooting the show, Brian. Oh, I've moved on, you. Yeah, I've moved on, moved on. Yeah, no, you, uh, you, there is a hot plate mm -hmm. here. <laughs> Is that your hot plate? <laughs> I bought it for the charity cook thing. You know, it's an induction cooker, by the way. Yeah, science, bitch! Remember that? You remember? You remember? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I remember <laughs> yeah. that. Oh, God, right. you were so good as Jesse. <laughs> you know, we really ought to think about bringing the show back. Just uh, saying. You're living here. No. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just an actor who's broken down. Can't get over the fact that his show has been finished. For five years, and so I'm living in an RV and using a bucket as a toilet. Yeah, whatever, Aaron. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was already here. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. There's so much shit in there, Brian. There's like a month worth of shit in there. Oh no. <laughs> The show so much. Okay. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Stop, 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 stop. No, no. Oh, oh my God. You smell worse than this sh bucket. No, no. no. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. oh, I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm so sorry. I can't be young and hot and rich and rolling with a bunch of friends like well, you. Jesus, stop calling me hot. It's weird. Yeah, well, you are. You're hot. <laughs> And this is the RV from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Welcome to Sony Studios. <laughs> now, if you guys just want to head that way to the studio gift shop, I'll meet you there in just one second. Right over there. Thank you. Aaron, what the hell are you doing? What? What is all this? Why aren't you 
leading the tour. You work here? I, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah he, <laughs> he works here, okay? He came begging me for a job the other day because he, he wanted to be around the RV again. F***ing loser. What? And what are you doing? Why are you... Are you... Oh, holy sh**. The show ended five years ago. Get over it. Put on some clothes, and you put on your uniform, okay? Stu, come on, don't make me... Put what? On the... What did you just call me? Hmm? <laughs> Say my name. <laughs> it's from the show. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bushman. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's been hard to get over the show. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, we're not so bad off, right? We got the RV. <laughs> got a hot plate. I've got the bucket that we could poop in. We still got our internet friends. Uh-huh. Come on. Why don't you tell them about the charity event? Come on. For your chance to come cook with Brian and me in the Breaking Bad RV, go to Omey's dot com slash breaking bad and all the money raised will go to us so we can buy new stuff no 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 mm. god damn it <laughs> every donation benefits two great causes kind campaign and the national center for missing and exploited yeah, so maybe you could win and you can come visit yes. us which would oh, yes. be great yes. would be great please please <laughs> We'll let you touch our Emmys. You can shit in the bucket. <laughs> oh, man. I, I needed, I, I needed I, that. I, I so, I needed that. so love that with every I, bit of my, my heart I'm right so there. I'm so happy. <laughs> Breaking Bad is the only drama I have seen from beginning to end twice. I've never rewatched a drama before. This literally, as yeah. I was watching this, made me go, "All right, I need to rewatch Breaking Bad." Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. This is actually really, really made me miss that show. <laughs> oh man, I've seen like the Omaze bits before. I remember there's like a dodgeball one that was yeah. like kind of funny. They don't always go all out on these, but yeah. this was the most. I like know, that they kept it one. as that this is Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston, and yeah. I love the concept of the sketch. Yeah. <laughs> they just feel like their careers haven't have gone anywhere. Totally not yeah. gone anywhere since Breaking <laughs> Which Bad. Which is not true, actually. You know, yeah, Aaron Paul's cool. worked quite a bit, and so yeah. has Brian Cranston has worked quite a lot too. Yeah, I mean, Brian Cranston jumped into movies, and Aaron Paul has like three TV shows. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And what I love so much about this sketch is just how much they're willing to make fun of themselves here. Yeah. And really go and really all commit out. To oh it. Yeah. man! It wasn't like yeah, we don't really want to do this, and we're making fun of what we're doing. They were committed to this joke, and, and like, you're seeing their acting chops here, their chemistry. It's like totally different dynamics than Walter White and Jesse, but it's the chemistry of these two performers that can work off each other so well that yeah. is still present in this sketch and I think that's what makes it such a delight is that even though they're playing just satire versions of themselves it's so delightful because that chemistry is still present yeah yeah, yeah. it just really <laughs> makes you want to see them together regardless of yeah. what that means as a sketch conceptually it's cute but it's so much more than that when you see it come to life because yeah they're both just so committed to it yeah it really makes you wish that we could enter and win yeah <laughs> yeah no, it does yeah. make you feel that way yeah you know again like just props to them for going for this and for really being open to it because I don't yeah. think everybody would be willing and they just like it's so funny. yeah most people would half ass this I think yeah. yeah like ah whatever this is just some silly thing they really did this bit they were hilarious in this they were hilarious yeah, yeah. stuff like this really makes me think that Breaking Bad for them for the people who got to work on it probably was as special of an experience as it is for all of us who love it I mean obviously in a different way but it seems like there is something really special about that team and that show even exemplified and wacky little things like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just from this sketch, they, they don't seem to have any bit of distaste for, you know, I'm sure when people see them, they're associated with the show so much. 
but it feels like there's a love for it. Yeah. And yeah, this this amaze bit was like, I do want to go there. I just love all the yeah. jokes. I love this joke of he's been living in the RV and then the twist that Aaron Paul's actually working, working on, on the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> and then he starts quoting the show. And I love how this kept getting more self aware as it kept going. And what? he's like, that's from the show. And yeah, he's like, yeah. He starts quoting along with him. You're goddamn right. right, right. <laughs> yeah. that, like every little piece is self aware. And sometimes that can get obnoxious, but in this, I thought that was actually really funny. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, they're constantly kind of breaking the fourth wall with that. This, you know? this made me very happy. Yeah. I was genuinely, like, happy watching this video. Yeah, it just put a smile on my face. And, I mean, it always warms my heart to see folks willing to do this for such worthy causes, too. You yeah. Because they're supporting what sound like two really great charities. And that's the best reason to do something yeah. wacky like this in the first place, you know? The way this was written was really smart. This could have been, like, cheap jokes, but the level of self-awareness never went away, even with the cameras recording. Mm -hmm. Like, Aaron Paul's like, we're recording right now. <laughs> you yeah, know? this is a professional thing. I feel like we sometimes these sketches, they would forget to acknowledge the fact that they're recording, and, like, Aaron Paul never lost that awareness. That was great. I was so happy with that video, man. Well done. Yeah, well thank you done. for the request, really. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, thanks for the request. I'm so happy Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston made. Like, just yeah. this video alone is worth it. Yeah. I know, I just want to watch it again right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I'm feeling blue, I'm going to put this on. Like, how can you be a Breaking Bad fan and then watch this and not want to participate? <laughs> you become like them. You're like, can we get the show back? Yeah. Yeah. Show? <laughs> like, please. <laughs> he said he doesn't think Walt's dead, so. That's no, true. You know. All right, guys. Well, if Breaking Bad did have a revival, would you care? Would you think it should? I don't think it should. Or do you prefer the Colombian version? Do you think they should do a comedy together? <laughs> You guys can subscribe to The Reject Nation. Click that notification bell because subscribe buttons are broken. Check us out on Patreon. Full-length TV show reactions, weekly Q&As, music video coverage. We'd love to have you become a Patron eject today.